Hey everybody, welcome back to the Parker and the Man page at yournews.com. Mark Wilson with your webcam, and was that a Monday? That was like the craziest Monday. That was almost like a Sunday, or a Saturday, a weekend day, but that was that was one heck of a Monday. I mean, you see all the stuff that went on on the Monday? I'll recap it for you in a second here on the webcam, but first of all, let me tell you, on the Parker and the Man page for your Tuesday, a uh, little thing on the wings. You know, camp is underway up in Traverse City. In fact, the first exhibition game is already tomorrow. Is that possible? Against the Philadelphia Flyers? I looked at the sketch. It said the 16th. Uh, Rangers are coming, I think, Friday. So the Wings are not only practicing, getting ready for games. Uh, it's just too early. This is what's wrong with the NHL, way too early in mid-September. But it's always been that way. Anyhow, uh, that you can read on the Parker and the Man page in the Wilson column. So check that out. All about the Wings and their, you know, what they're gunning for. And you know what they're thinking here. One word for you, Penguins. Um, whether you like it or not, whether you, you know, are interested in the regular season, it's all about the postseason in Detroit, as you all know. So uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they won't say it, but it's on their minds. Okay, here's the Monday. Uh, first of all, Brian Urlacher out for the season for the Chicago Bears. You can read about that. Did you see the two Monday night games, New England and Buffalo? Tom Brady, amazing. Uh, Pierre Woods from Michigan made a huge play for New England. Uh, Buffalo, Dick Duran, I just he ain't the guy. Uh, Buffalo Bills, T.O., Terrell Owens, Randy Moss had an unbelievable game. Brady had maybe the second best day in the history of Monday Night Football as a quarterback, 39 completions. Only Kenny Anderson from Cincinnati had one day where he had 40 in a Monday Night game. But that was uh, that was startling how that happened. Buffalo had looked like they had it in the bag, and the New England Patriots, I just, you know, when you're good, you're good. They lose all these guys, Richard Seymour, Teddy Bruschi, Mike Vrabel. They just, Rodney Harris, they just keep losing guys, and they keep winning. Uh, cut guys left and right, uh, new running backs, and, they, and Bill Belichick just keeps winning games. So read about what happened if you did not see the game. San Diego got a last uh, second touchdown basically from Darren Sproles. Phillip Rivers, a great fourth quarter comeback uh, drive at the end. Uh, Jamarcus Russell for Oakland. Thought he had it in the bag, and then the Raiders, well, they've lost 12 straight. I think Buffalo has lost 12 straight at New England, and now Oakland has lost 12 straight to San Diego. Uh, so the Chargers had a nice win on Monday night. Very exciting games, two of them, uh, on Monday Night Football. Tigers looked like they were down and out. Justin Verlander had given up five runs in one inning. He had a weird line. He gave up five runs, ten hits, no walks, and ten strikeouts. That's just strange. And the Tigers were down 5-2 in the ninth when Aubrey Huff came up. Boom! Slams one, throws the bat, and he just a little attitude. Throws the bat and... Uh, Watches the three-run homer go, ties the game, and then the Tigers win it in the tenth on a couple of Marco Scudero errors for Toronto. So you can read about that as well. Uh, did you see the other thing? Juan Martin Del Potro from Argentina beating Roger Federer, U.S. Open Men's Singles Championship. Federer for going for six in a row. He's won 40 straight matches at uh, in New York at Arthur Ashe at the stadium complex there. And Juan Martin Del Potro, who had beaten Rafael Nadal a day earlier, then beats Roger Federer, 20 years old. Who is this guy? Juan Martin Del Potro. Remember the name because he's got a career. He's 20, and he just beat Federer. And it was a five-set classic. Uh, just amazing stuff. I was calling guys left and right, and twittering and, and texting, and I'm going out of focus. <laughs> and I'm saying, do you see what's going on in New York with Juan Martin Del Potro? And then if you missed it, Jay Leno started at 10 o'clock, and uh, he had a Lions joke. You want to hear the joke? I wrote it, but uh, you know what? I'll do it for you people watching the webcam. Here was the joke. He says, it's about five minutes in, and uh, Jay's looking straight at the camera and says, Hey, uh, boy, I'll tell you what. Um, I was watching TV last night, and I was uh, TiVoing the biggest loser, and instead I got the Lions. Something like that. So everybody, uh, ha, ha, ha. Everybody got it. Lions stink. And Jay Leno's on the Lions. And day one of his new show, the Kanye West thing was cool, where he apologized for, I think, the third time to Taylor Swift for what he did on the MTV Video Music Awards. Uh, then he said he was taking a break. Well, so Kanye's got a little something. Not that he has it all, but he's got a little something going up there. And that was all part of uh, the Seinfeld first uh, first show with Seinfeld was the first guest. Oprah was on for a second. It was kind of funny. And Jay was good. And then a comedy at 10 o'clock, and it might work. Uh, some of the newscast may not like it, but uh, Leno uh, liked the set. Kevin Eubanks is on the show still, so he's a creature of habit. A lot of, he did headlines, uh, but he did a Lions joke, too, on the first day. So check all that out on the Parker Demand page at yournews.com. Erlacher out for the season. The two Monday night games. The Tigers' big win over Toronto to keep that uh, 
keep that thing going. We're with five, five and a half games up. Juan Martin Del Potro over Roger Federer, incredible upset, and Jay Leno with ten with the Lions joke. And the Red Wings. That's the main part of the, <laughs> the main feature for you is the Red Wings. So happy navigating everybody. And coming up this week, we will reopen the Parker and the Man e bag. So get your emails into TVBoy at yournewsdetroit.com or to Rob Parker at Rob at yournewsdetroit.com. There you have it. If Tuesday's as good as Monday, it's going to be one heck of a Tuesday. <laughs>